What's going on guys, Caleb here, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about what it takes to win. So in this video, we're gonna cover what it takes to win in online sales, and there's three core things that we're gonna be going over. Focusing on output, not skill, moving on data, not emotion, and understanding that you will want to get distracted. So when it comes to succeeding in online sales, focus on your output, not your skill, at least in the beginning. The fastest way to develop is through spending more time in the field. You want to take so much action that it would be unreasonable for you to be great. Skill is simply a lagging metric. And know that the only way to actually get experience is through talking to other people. You will never get great without talking with other people. You need to embrace the unexpected and begin talking to as many people as you can in mass. Practice, while it's a good warm-up to give you an understanding of what the motion looks like, it will never replace having real interactions with other human beings who might buy what it is you have to offer. And so that's where the fastest way to get good is just through having as many conversations as possible as quickly as possible. And to use, uh, to keep yourself guided and knowing how much action is appropriate, look at what your KPRs, your KPIs are and understand that your KPIs are just the minimum. Even if you're not skilled, if you do more than everyone else, you will just get more done. So always go above and, uh, above and beyond your targets and strive for excellence. And know that regardless of your skill level, the hardest working are the highest earners. Even if you're making what you want, you will want to continue to strive to be the hardest working person on your team. And if you're not making what you want, well, the question to ask yourself is, how many activities did you do today? Honestly, how many actions did you take? Which brings us to the second point, which is moving off data, not emotion. If you do not track what you do, you will get lost. It is natural to feel better some days than others. Some days you'll wake up and you'll wanna do the work, some days you'll wake up and you won't, but know that the truth is in the numbers. We're gonna talk a lot more about this later, and I'll give you some bonus trainings about how you can actually 10X your productivity without changing you know, your day and, and all that other stuff uh, later on in this program, but just know that the truth is actually in the numbers itself. So make sure that when you're tracking your data, log up was completed. Stay grounded in reality and track your true numbers, even if you don't love them. In your business or other things in life, it will fall apart if you don't have accurate data. Just a prime example, back when I used to do cold calling, there was days where I wouldn't properly track the number of calls that I did. And I'd look at my tracker at the end of the day and I'd be like, well, I only recorded doing I don't know, 50, but I knew I did 100. And so it's important that even if you don't track it properly, track what you've tracked and don't make any assumptions or fill in the blanks or replace data that you don't have with data that you think might be true because it's not true. And also what I would do is the days that I didn't track properly, I would use those as reminders that I need to be more, I have higher attention to detail and track myself uh, a little bit closer the next day instead of just fudging it and making it up as I go. Another thing, stay consistent. I've been able to double my productivity, not by actually doing more, but by doing it at the same time of day. If you keep a very consistent schedule and routine, you will move faster as you train your subconscious and your body to get used to the motions you're going through. Uh, I remember when I was a full-time rep, I would take maybe eight, 10 calls a day, and I would also do 100 dials a day. And I would do 100 dials a day at the same time every single day. But I didn't start there. I actually started doing maybe 30 dials a day, what I felt was manageable. And then I did that for a week and then I was like, well, what's 10 more than 30? Mm, it's only 40, I guess I can manage another 10. And then I did that again the next week. Well, what's 10 more than 40? Mm, it's only 50, I can manage another 10 more dials. I still got a little bit more time. And I would just keep adding 10 and 10 and 10 until I got myself up to 100 dials a day. So the crazy part was with all of that is I was doing 100 dials in the same time window that it used to take me to do 30. So I'm more than 2x or 3x my productivity just through being consistent. And I encourage you to do the same. And coming to the third point, know that you will want to get distracted. Stay focused until it's done. Put your phone away. Don't check social media or have any other open tabs. You really only need two to three focused hours a day in the beginning. And two to three hours a day is only 10% of your day. And if you can really crank out true work in two to three hours, you'll get more than 90, you'll be able to make more than 90% of people. And understand that in this, that you're developing new and better habits. It'll probably take you around two weeks to break into a new position. Breaking in meaning, meaning feeling comfortable with the work, the dials, all that's the responsibilities required. And then it will probably take you around three months to find an actual flow where you're in the groove and you know, you're know you really crushing it. 
So let's just focus on getting results. All we care about at the end of the day is you getting a result. You're building your own skills and you're working for you, nobody else. So know that all of this comes down to your responsibility and your commitment to yourself to make the most out of everything. And the skills you're gonna learn in this program, as much as they're just for sales, they apply to everywhere else in life. The tracking, the consistency, you use the money for things beyond just you know bills and stuff like that. So the, de- the disciplines and the habits you develop are gonna serve you everywhere in your life. So focus on getting results. So the action steps for this video, I want you to watch this week in full right now. If you're watching this right now, I want you to turn off your phone, close everything, go off the grid, pull out a pen and a paper, and just focus on completing this module in one sitting. Develop the habit. After, I'm going to show you this slide. Well, I'll show you it now. But download this pin up below and make it your wallpaper on your computer. What it takes to win. Focusing on output, not skill. Moving on data, not emotion. And know that you will want to get distracted. Print it out or make it your wallpaper. Um, And by the time you might be watching this, there may or may not be mobile wallpapers, but keep this and look at this every single day. And when you finish each day, I want you to look at it. And when you start each day, I want you to look at it because it will help you get more out of yourself. And engage your coach. Once you finish this week, engage your coach. Tell us that you completed it. Let us know what you learned. Um, The small wins compound. So don't Take anything for granted and celebrate, you know, every success. It might not be money in the bank account, but it might just be awareness. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.